<laughs> we third sing because back in residential school time, third singing was banned, and now we're proud to be bringing back our culture. I'm so proud to be to be different, um, to offer an indigenous perspective to life and lots of issues in in this country. It makes me proud to be Inuit because a lot of people are like. Whenever I tell them I'm Inuit, they get so happy. They start talking to me about different things, and they're like, oh, that's cool, and then they ask questions, so I'm always happy to give them answers and tell them different things about my culture. I got so many things to be proud of. Uh, first of all, most, her. Um, she accomplished huge in school, first political science. I was very proud of that. And next thing is law. I'm, I'm very proud of myself. Um, I'm 24 years old, but I feel like I've come a long way. I, when I was younger and I first moved here, I was rebelling. I was such a, I, I called myself, I'm, I was such a horrible child because I, I was very lost. But now I'm like, I'm becoming a role model to my sisters, to the kids here. Um, I feel like I'm doing very good for myself and I'm healthy, I'm happy, and that's what I'm very proud of. I'm proud of me in the sense that I've accomplished, uh, I finished my schooling, uh, and I guess I'm involved in the community and in trying to make an effort to help other people is to show other kids about my culture. So we're just showing uh, my culture to others. Maybe some, when I go to schools, maybe they don't know about this, about, and I just love teaching them. Cause then they say, wow, I mean, this is so cool. Like, like, how did I not know this or so? I'm the most proud to be Inu. Yeah. Like uh, I made this, I'm proud to be wearing this because you made it and yeah. it's out of and seal. It's so nice to be Inu woman on top of that, just being Inu because we make many beautiful things, like this one, like hers, and there are many Inuit women. If you just give them something, they'll make something out of it. Mm -hmm. People at McGill ask me, like First Nation students, do you throat sing? And I'm so proud to say yes, because that's, that's my culture. And I was still president of Bautudit. I used to carry her and my Amauti when I was at the conferences. I say she learned politics early. <laughs> I found pride in my community. I started speaking on it and then people were getting interested. We threw out saying for Prime Minister. Um, we watched a clip and everyone was proud of us. After we performed and after the swearing ceremony was done, we took a picture with him. Yeah, but it <laughs> was really blurry. He's really oh. tall. It's a great thing to be from the North. It's so different, it's so unique, and it's so beautiful. The food that we eat, the clothes that we wear, the language that we speak. I'm actually very, very proud of my culture and that I get to embrace it every single time I come to take food and almost every single day. All the law students would say, can you get your mom to make some bannock, please? <laughs> <laughs> Bring it to the resource center. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't panic. Eat panic. panic. <laughs> I get happy when I'm able to wear traditional clothing, my amounty, and I get really happy when I can do that or work with traditional uh, materials. So it's English, French, and Inuktitut. to know about our Inuit culture is that there's basically no odd one out like even though if you came from a different place like they would still bring you in and help you um, appreciate our, our culture or their culture even and teach you some things and I guess exchange knowledge. And my grandfather knew all nine dialects of them and well, he knew all nine dialects and um, also he was the first one to write uh, the first Enoch to English dictionary. 
people. Like we don't have that much money, but like we're always work together to get it done. Or so you don't need the expensive toys or so to have fun or to become a, as a family. When times where I questioned my identity, it was like, okay, well, I have my name and, and there's a story behind that and there's a story to come. Um, I took my second name means uh, climbing reaching for the top. And before I could even walk, when my dad was on his knees, I could climb up to his shoulders without any help. She was born in a tent or an igloo and tent. tent. And now I just graduated and became a lawyer. Like, it's just, it's <laughs> insane how fast things have changed. But Inuit still, regardless, are adaptable and keep their culture, whether it was back then mm -hmm. or for it's now. Inuit worked hard so we can get to where we are today for throat singing, showing off our culture, and not being in residential schools anymore. Look look what we have already. We have pilots, we have teachers, we have lawyers. We have almost everything. We even have doctors. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of that. Yeah, and this year I've really found role models. Yeah, at, at my school who are indigenous and who might be in law school or just graduating. Um, so they've encouraged me to, to find that acceptance within myself, for myself. Now we get to show off our culture because uh, when I was like six and seven years old, when I was here and all that, um, some of the kids were embarrassed to do things. But now that they're all, and I see all the little kids throat singing and running around and eating culture food. So it makes me feel good about who I am. So when I wake up in the morning, and I look at myself in the mirror, and uh, um, sometimes I, I know I just love seeing the person that smiles back, and I just say, "What can I do better? Or what can I do today?" Just being proud of who you are, knowing who you are as an Inuit person or an Inuk person, um, knowing your culture, being humble is a big thing. Being welcoming and just understanding—that's to me what being Inuk is. If you want to show off your culture, any culture that you are, if you want to show it off, do it. If you want to make your culture proud for showing you and your culture off, do it. Go for it. I want to tell everyone that sometimes their views aren't correct and I want to help them be accepting. Learn as much as possible about our heritage and as soon as possible, because like I said, it's, it's a journey in which you, you begin to feel, I think, more and more comfortable in the world when, when you know where you come from. Just be proud that you're Inuk. Be proud and encourage other people to be proud that you're Inuk. People need to be educated on different problems and stuff that is happening in the community and all the good things that are happening. Go for your dreams. If you have a dream that you really want to do, go for it. We went for it and it happened, so it will probably happen for the people that try. It will. <laughs> Challenge yourself. Get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your regular lifestyle because that's when you're going to grow as an individual. Be proud of who you are. Educate people where you come from. You know, like, be proud of it. Like, no matter how much people may not understand it, at least you understand it and just just be proud i would say get out there you know don't let anybody uh, stop you or um my grandmother would say to me if you want to do it go do it if you fail and you fail then pick yourself up because one of those fails is going to become a success taking your culture taking what you can learn it's all very interesting, amazing things. We have so many amazing Inuit out there. We are Inuit and proud. <laughs>